welcome to The Travelling Introvert. Today we're going to talk about introversion and social anxiety. For the quiet types among us, introversion and social anxiety frequently get used interchangeably. Uh, or just as often, social anxiety is mistakenly thought of as an extreme form of introversion. While you can definitely both be socially anxious and an introvert, you can also be socially anxious and an extrovert. So, for example, you may really want to go to a bar with your co-workers, but worry they actually don't want you there. Or you may crave company, but obsess about the possibilities that you'll say something stupid. The two terms are quite different from a psychological tomato tomato kind of thing the two are more like apple and orange here are some five really big differences you are born an introvert you were made socially anxious introversion is a trait it's like in your dna it's part of your personality but with social anxiety you may carry a more a predisposition towards it you didn't come out of the womb like it and so there might have been some early social rejection or that taught you that, you know, it peers are mean and horrible. Or maybe your parents taught you never to ask for help because people will judge you. There's all sorts of things about that. The good news, you can unlearn or relearn and this can, can be worked through. With introversion, difference number two, solitude makes you feel good. With social anxiety, it just makes you less anxious. So there is a fine distinction, but introverts gain energy from being alone, one-on-one or very small group of trusted people. If you are an introvert, being in solitude is refreshing and recharges your battery. In contrast, social anxiety is driven by fear. Being alone makes you less anxious, which is, you know, okay, but it's more a sense of relief relief than happiness. So, you know, there is that difference. Third difference is um, with social anxiety, you feel incapable. It's a case of you think you don't have anything to say, you won't know what to say and assume that people overlook and misunderstood you anyway, so uh, why bother? By contrast, with introversion, you're pretty confident about your social skills. You know you can turn them on if needed to be or whatever it might happen. And even though you make some effort, you can recharge by reading a book or whatever it has to do. So it's the level and the incapacitating method that comes behind social anxiety. Difference number four, introverts and socially anxious individuals both care what other people think, just on different levels. Let's be honest, no matter who you are, you do care to a degree about what people think, at least people you love and respect and all of that. So the thing is, social anxiety is about caring what other people think supersized. In social anxiety, you care about what almost everybody thinks. You assume people are thinking negatively about you and you have that nagging sense that you don't measure up. It's, it's, it's very different from being an introvert. And the last thing, social anxiety thrives on perfectionism. Perfectionism it can be the root of social anxiety. We may believe only a perfect social performance can stave off half criticism. You may think you'll be judged unless you come off as, you know, the the wonderful social banter that's effortless and wonderful and etc., which instead just makes you clam up. The socially anxious among us rehearse everything from our fast food order while on the phone or customer service before we dial it. Introverts do it too, but not quite in the same way. And so, because, you know, we fail to realize that uh, the fast food guy and the customer service person have heard everything before, from drunken life stories to weird confessions. We're all human. So perfectionism really doesn't work in that way. Introversion, perfectionism isn't as much of an issue. We overthink, yes, but we're not about being perfect. We just want to be us. And therefore, no performance is involved. So... There are the th- main differences between being social anxiety and an introvert. And you can deal with both. Thank you for listening. This is the uh, Travelling Introvert. Feel free to email me with your questions at Janice at the career introvert dot com. And I look forward to speaking with some of you because some of you have been leaving me voice messages, which has been wonderful. And uh, take a look at all my social media. Have fun. I'm looking forward to helping you grow your career within your introversion.